Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Teja View with Teja Martinez. And today I wanted to do a get ready with me. I mean, I have nothing to get ready for. So I have all the time in the world to get ready. So if you're interested, keep watching, get comfortable and let's go. I like to start off with my brows and I always use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. And then your little spoolie on one end and your little angled brush on the other. Now we are going to go in with concealer and right now I have been using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the color Golden Amber. This is it. And I'm going in with a flat brush. This is the Morphe M421. Now, if you want brows, then you can just, you know, put your product in and keep it pushing. But if you want brows, you want to conceal because it makes it so crispy and so clean. It's like, it's necessary. So next, I like to do my eyes. Just because if there's any fallout, I don't have to worry about cleaning it up with foundation and concealer and all my hard work and dedication already done. I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy, rusty, crusty, dusty, busty, wet and wild palettes. They are, when I say rusty, dusty, crusty, busty, they are. They are used and abused, but they are loved. This one is Rosé in the Air. So I like to go in with my Morphe M513. Fluffy. And I'm going to start with this transition color here on the end. And then I like to run it in my crease. So... Let's start there first. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M507. It is also a little fluffy brush, but it's a little smaller. This color here. It's like a reddish brownish, like a like a brick red. And I'm gonna keep this right in the crease. Then I'm going to use my Morphe M505. And it is also a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this orange color up here. Same thing right under the crease and put it on my lid, my outer lid. Now that this side is done, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do this side, also pop on some lashes and I'll be back. I usually go in with a matte primer. So that's what I'm going to do today. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Matte. Looks like this, about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and dibble dabble. Okay. 
it makes my face so smooth it feels so good so good now for foundation i have been using the revolution makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation it does look like this and i have the shade f12 so just go ahead get a couple stripes I'm going to use that same sponge that I was using for the concealer and I'm just going to pounce that in. Using the same concealer, the CoverGirl True Blend, same color. Using the same sponge, go ahead and just blend this out. All right, so now that we have everything concealed, we need to lock it into place so all of our hard work, you know, wasn't for nothing. So I'm gonna go in with my collab loose setting powder. It is Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder, and it is in the color tan, I believe. Yes, tan slash honey. Now we're going to bronze because we need to bring some color back into oil lettuce. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York City Bronzer. I want to say it's in the number 300. Ooh, looks like this. So I'm going to go in with my little fluffy brush. And this is from, I think it's It, yep, it Brushes, and it's the Airbrush Powder Brush. It says C7125. For blush, I use my Morphe Blush Trio. Comes with three shades, obviously. Um, sometimes I do mix these two, um, but lately I've just been going in with the darker, more nudie color. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be using my blush brush. I believe this is Wet n Wild, but there's no name on it anymore, so it's Wet n Wild. We're going to highlight. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild. This has been like a whole Wet n Wild day. Shout out to Wet n Wild coming through with everything. But I'm going to be using their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Again, it's rusty, dusty, crusty, and busty because it's trusty. This is what it looks like. Gonna be using my collab brush. There's no name on it, but it's collab and it looks like this. Just take that in there. And... Mm. <laughs> you see? Right, 
so to finish off the eyes I'm gonna go in with my NYX um, professional eye pencil in the color black what is this A little bit of the red brick color and then this chocolate brown. I'm gonna mix those to run it underneath. Then we are going to hit our bottom lashes with some mascara. And I'm gonna be using, yet again, the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I probably got it just because it was in a purple bottle. And my favorite color is purple, but it is in the color Very Black. gonna go in with the elf liquid matte lipstick it is in the color praline what's up true love hello i want to disturb you ew <laughs> you thought i'd get us a sandwich <laughs> all right so now that the face is done we're gonna set it into place i'm gonna use the hard candy Longwear sheer indie setting spray it claims to have 12 hour wear plus hydration love that this is it All right, you guys, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this would be my everyday go-to sort of thing if I wanted to put on some makeup. If I'm like, oh, girl, you need some TLC. This is what I would do. Um, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe so you can stay on the journey with me. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.